Now you yeah. send a pair of quarks down the black hole, it gets split, we make two other quarks. Yeah. You do, well, thank you. <laughs> then this, that was very good. Uh, and you keep doing this, and they, so wouldn't the quarks eat the entire gravitational field of the black hole? Yeah. And that you wouldn't have a black hole left, you just have a ball of quarks. You have to realize, number one, that we still don't know the under uh, the physics of the singularity of a black hole well enough. Why else did I invite yeah. you into this yeah. office now? So, so well, I wish <laughs> one day, one Dude, day I pray that I'll sit the, here and the, tell you what happens at the singularity of a black hole. Bring the person who knows yeah. next time. But here's the thing. There is nobody on planet Earth who knows the answer, unfortunately, yet. Okay. When we follow the mathematics to the actual singularity of a black hole. Using Einstein general relativity. Using Einstein general relativity and even some of the modifications that have come from more recent thinking, we're still not there yet to truly understand what happens. But I should say there are ideas. There are ideas of things, I don't know if you've heard of them, called fuzzballs, where there isn't actually a singularity and the black hole is actually a more fuzzy collection of okay. matter that, yeah. so there are ideas that people that put That makes forward. your math come out okay. Makes the math come out okay, but because we're not sure if it's like, right. What they yeah. say, the black holes are where the singularity at the center of a black hole is where God is dividing by zero. Yeah, that's a Stephen yeah. Hawking quip or Did something. He say that? I think yeah. it is. So you know, you remember why? Yeah. If you divide by zero, well, it's not a, it not going to work up. out. Right. Yeah, <laughs> and, and it's actually, in a sense, it's literal.